Hey everyone, my name is developer Philip and today we are going to shine the spotlight on very creative and very, very talented web developers in regards to their incredible 3D website creations that they have made. Now, the other thing I really want you guys to know is that we are almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this video and you enjoy it, make sure you smash that subscribe button. All right, well, without any further ado, I just wanna jump in and share and inspire you guys uh, to realize how incredible the world of web dev can be. So let's jump into the first website and the second one and a bunch more and uh, let's enjoy ourselves. So make sure you sit back on your chairs and let's get going. All right, so the first website is by joshuas.world. Welcome to my world. I'm Joshua, an interaction designer who is enthusiastic about creating engaging and delightful digital experiences. Now, nothing is happening much yet, but it says to explore my world. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I click it. Okay. Nice. Okay. I, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be that cool. I love the colors. I love the color combinations. Clearly, uh, you know, a lot of thought has gone into it. And obviously the first thing that it, it says on the screen, giving you a prompt is that we should drag to explore. So I'm going to drag and I'm going to explore. And there we go. My journey as a designer started in Germany where I studied communication design. And as you can see, as we keep scrolling, obviously we get that whole story. After graduating, I started working as a motion designer. The whole story of Joshua. Uh, very, very cool. I love the attention to detail here. Uh, I love the little graphics and how kind of um, cute it almost looks. Uh, I assume we can scroll out. So yes, we can scroll out and see the whole map and that cyclist still follows along, which is really, really awesome. And I'm guessing Joshua is into cycling. Uh, and then we have this toggle and I'm assuming this toggles between light and dark mode. Ooh, I love that. And I love the little attention to detail where all these little lights are actually shining and illuminating uh, in the dark. And then as we scroll, we only see the sections that are important that get illuminated. So very, very cool. Now, what else do we have on this site? Well, I assume there's probably a bunch of Easter eggs that we won't find. So I always encourage everyone watching these videos to go and check the website out and to go and see it in depth and see what it looks like. And then let me know in the comments uh, if they found any Easter eggs, but also very importantly, let me know in the comments and compliment the, the designer, give him some nice feedback. Usually I find that all these creators, they come and find my video and they read the comments. If you wanna leave something positive for the creator of this website, well, please go ahead and, and do that in the comments. Uh, okay, let's see his menu, Joshua's World. Okay, so that's the one we saw. So let's go back here. We have an about section. I'm Joshua, a designer who is enthusiastic. Okay, we just read that. Uh, very, very simple. Nothing actually is going on here. Just a one pager. And then he has some legal and he has a contact page. Uh, thank you all for all the positive feedback that I have received about my site. Well, you're definitely going to get much more positive feedback now, I hope, because uh, a bunch of people will hopefully be visiting it. So really nice work, Joshua. Um, love the website. And let's move on to the second one. So this website is by Hamish Williams. He's a designer and a developer, designer and a prototyper. And there's probably gonna be much more uh, things that are gonna be coming up here, an animator. And straight off the bat, I can see that he has this really cool animation in the background. And I can see as I move my mouse, it actually follows my mouse and kind of adjusts to my mouse. This is a very common thing that we see in a lot of 3D websites nowadays, that, that kind of interactive design that uh, essentially the web page is following your mouse cursor. So it gives you that feel of things actually happening and it gives you that feel of things being alive. Uh, here we have a toggle as well, which we toggle between light and dark mode, as I assumed. So it's just the background that changes. There is a little bit of a cool fade that's going on and a very, very unique kind of side navigation that we don't see very often, especially with the text being sideways, but I guess it gives it that cool feel and obviously that uh, highlight, uh, especially when we're hovering over that text of what we're hovering over. Uh, if we click on the details, maybe. Hi there, I'm Hamish. Currently, I live in Sydney, working as a senior product designer at Qwiller, 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 Quiller, Quiller, maybe. That's maybe how it's pronounced. Never had anyone from Sydney before, which is cool. I love seeing all these uh, creative designers from all over the world, which is great. He has a bunch of articles. He has a contact me page. Okay, so I'm a big person on contact pages. 
Usually I hate them when it navigates you to like the inbuilt like mailer on Mac. It's just, I, I really don't like it. I prefer something very simple where you just enter your email, you enter the message, and then it just sends from the browser a much nicer and UX friendly solution than anything else. It has his social media icons, uh, a link to his Figma. So if you guys want to check it out, of course, I always recommend it. But again, another really nice site, uh, very minimalistic, but of course, oh wait, there is scroll. I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, very minimalistic, but now looking at it, well, it, that looks nice. So there is a whole 3D model of a MacBook uh, which follows your mouse. So this is that 3D effect that makes the website feel alive. I really, really like that. Let's continue going. A nice animation of some phones with some, I assume, Japanese text behind. So it gives it that cool Japanese vibe. And as we continue scrolling, okay, we get the computer again, which represents another project that perhaps Hamish in this case has worked on. And then a little bit more information about him. Okay, so I assume uh, as I was clicking this, it just kind of takes you to another part of the page. Very cool in the contact form. Awesome, really nice work, Hamish. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this website, if you want to leave some nice comments for him, leave them below the video. I'm sure Hamish will, uh, will see this and he's going to uh, have fun reading those. All right, so on to the third website. Now, this website is by Rio Iragao, Irago, and that's a nice loader here. And it says, hello world. Oh, and it actually animates away. So I, I assume I'm going to have to click something, but I don't. And we see a picture of a cat. Hmm, that's interesting. I actually don't know why there is a cat. It's a portfolio website, web designer and front end engineer based in Japan. Wow, we're covering a lot of the world today. Actually, Japan and Australia are quite close together in that retrospect. Um, but yes, well, it's uh, very cool to see people from all over the world. And uh, we have a home menu and a nice little hover effect as I hover over. We've got his works and we've got his profile. Let's check out the profile, see who Rio or Ryo is. Profile, 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 profile. A nice little signature. If you guys like this type of signature, I'm actually going to be doing a tutorial on how to do that very soon and how to animate it. So make sure you subscribe for that. Um, and then let's scroll down. Hi there, I'm a web designer and a front-end engineer based in Japan. Okay, so there is a little bit of text and very, very minimalistic way of representing your skills. Hmm. Honestly, I'm not sure I like this combination of simplicity with how cool the rest of the page looks. And maybe I would kind of animate that information and make it a little bit bigger. It's a little small and therefore it would make it a little bit maybe more matching the aesthetic that he's going for here. Although maybe that simplicity is what uh, he was going for. And then this is very cool. We have a bunch of, um, I assume his work. So his projects he worked on a little nice date that pops up on the left, a little nice um, kind of description that pops up on the right. And it seems that, oh, this, oh, oh, this is nice. So if you pay close attention, Whenever I'm moving my mouse, it actually uh, distorts the image behind it, uh, which is quite cool. So there is that little bit of a uh, little bit of like cool touch that uh, he added to the website. And when I click it, I assume it's just going to give us information uh, about the current project and what it has involved and some screenshots and images. So the basic and usual stuff. Uh, really, really cool website, very minimalistic, very dark again, and has this whole vibe to it. Uh, so yeah, definitely love it. I'd love you guys uh, to rate every website, actually. Give me a rating out of 10 and uh, see what you think. All right, so on to the next website. This website is called, or they call me Julio version 4.0. All right, and it's a fully blue screen. And uh, the only prompt I get here is this circle, which tells me to enter. And as I hover it, the cursor changes. Let's click enter. Okay, we're getting some music in the background and almost now with the music, it feels like whenever I'm speaking, it just sounds like uh, like I'm narrating something, but I'm not. Or maybe I am. I don't know. Now, I'm placing my bets here and I reckon that as I scroll, because it says scroll down to see some work, maybe that character in the middle is going to move. It almost feels like it. Uh, so let's scroll and see what happens. And I was right. The character moves. Oh, wow. And the music gets intense. The music gets very intense. Oh, that was really nice. 
That was really nice. If I turn the volume down, what you can see is we've got this vertical scroll that's happening. And then as soon as we get to a certain point, we've got the projects coming in and scrolling horizontally. So that scroll direction changes. It really feels like maybe I should do a tutorial on that too, because it's fairly easy to implement, but it's actually really, really, really exciting when it happens because that change in direction of, of scroll is, is super fun. And then I assume we're gonna go back to vertical. Yes, and we're back to vertical. So very, very kind of common trick to do. Um, and just in general, a really kind of um, uh, a, a impressive one. So uh, maybe I should like the video if you want a tutorial on that. Uh, I was born in Venice in September 86, and today I live in Como and work at Skitchen, an advanced design studio as a creative technologist. Uh, so we got a guy from Italy now. So all over the world in this case. And as I continue scrolling, we get uh, we get a lot of cool kind of messages pop up. Oh, he won the awards times six and CSS Design Awards times six. In general, that's a lot of awards. And then as I continue scrolling, the direction changes and contact. And I love that the character tells you, come on, message me, send me an email. Very, very cool. And a little animation on the email. I love it. Uh, really, really nice website, quite exciting, a lot of, of things happening. That music is also quite intriguing. They call me Julio, very, very cool. Uh, let me guys know what you think of it. And uh, let me just mute this and it works. And let's jump on to the next website. Okay, this website is by Dustin Brett. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? This is a website? It is a website. Wait, I, I got so confused there for a second. I was like, why do I suddenly have a Windows computer in front of me? Um, okay, so my PC. Oh my goodness. So he actually created, he actually created a Windows machine inside the browser. Okay. Okay, I can move the windows. Can I resize them? I can resize the windows. Um, do we have a start? So there's a, oh my God. What? Emulators, games, game, what? It's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six games in built into this AI chat? Hey, how are you? <laughs> nice, um, uh, where am I? Virtual Assistant chatbot, okay, so, um, Wow, that is impressive. If I minimize it, it actually minimizes. Um, what else do we have here? We have a pa paint. No way, the guy did not do paint in the browser. Oh my God, and it will it actually work? I mean, are you kidding me? Okay, <laughs> there's no way I'll be able to say, oh my God, it actually saves it as an image. Are you serious? Wow, that's insane. So he has paint in the browser. He has what it seems like a chatbot. He has a Monaco editor, which seems like a ripple of Visual Studio Code, but is it an editor that actually works? Um, Dustin, documents, uh, games. Very, very impressive. What? Just, just very, what? And I mean, documents, icons, music, pictures. Dustin working on it and I guess that's the guy um, very cool I mean I'll let you guys play with it there's probably so many easter eggs on this website but oh my god and there is a right click as well um, sort by no way oh my god it actually does background hexels no coastline landscape <laughs> insane absolutely insane I mean I love it um, Doom, what's this? So now maybe if I launch it, it's gonna... Okay, yeah, that worked. What is this? Is it just a game inside the thing? New game. Me in the deep dead. I don't know, like, I'm too young to die. <laughs> oh my god. He actually made a game inside the... And, and I mean, that's not the only one. Wait, if I just close it, there is... 
there's more games right here. Well, I'll let you guys explore. This is absolutely insane. Dustin, you did an awesome job. I'd love to know how you actually built this. I'd love to know how long this took you to build. I mean, oh my goodness, how many things have you implemented in one thing? Clearly impressive. As a portfolio website, maybe not the greatest, of course. Yes, you're showing off your skill, which I think is always good in a portfolio website. Maybe finding information about you could be done a little easier, but again, I get the whole aesthetic you wanted to achieve here. It should look like a Windows machine and it uh, really does. That's really cool. Anyway, let's uh, let's jump on to the final website. This website is called bryantcodes.art and what are we seeing in front of me? Um, click to start. Okay, so as I move around, it obviously moves. Uh, with the mouse cursor, so very common effect. Click to start, boot up. Wow. Wow, that's... There's a lot going on in this one. Um, God damn it. That's... Um, that, that's a lot of colors and a lot of things that are just standing out. I'm Brian, I build web experiences and projects, and we have blog coming soon, and let's learn more about Brian. Um, I'm a freelance dev who helps awesome designers like you build their wildest dreams. Together, let's create something that stands out and has your users saying, wow. Okay, uh, self-concept. Honestly, Brian, that is that is exactly how I imagined you would look uh, after seeing your website. So I'm not surprised here. Tell me more about yourself. Okay, kind words from others. Oh, these are all draggable. This is quite cute. I didn't know that, actually. I didn't think these are all draggable. So I guess this is his very cute dog. Very cute dog. Very smiley dog. Kind words from others, and I'm assuming I can click through these. Very cool. Let's check out the skills, though. Draw on me in every color. Damn. Oh! Oh, I see what happened. So every color presents something different and you can read about him as you wish. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. I'm, I'm trying to wonder how he achieved that. If it's like different layers, I assume it's different layers that are hidden and those layers are coming up front as he's selecting the different color, which is just um, exposing that specific mask underneath the brush, although I may be wrong. So Brian, if you're watching us, please tell us how you did this specific part. Uh, very, very interesting. Uh, so back to menu. Uh, let's check out his projects. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, click an ice cube. Okay, so he has a bunch of ice cubes that U of I. So if we, all oh right. So if we hold it for a while, it comes up with, a, with the name of the project. And I love how it kind of animates from this to like an actual color. Ooh, that was smooth. That was really, really smooth. I don't know if you guys caught that. So if I'm assuming this is with every ice cube. So if I click the ice cube, it actually animates to the right, expands, and then like does a really smooth transition into this whole new screen. Look at that. Oh, that's smooth. That is really, really nice. That is really nice. I love that. And then obviously we get information here about his specific project. Very nice. So I guess he's very funky on the outside, but when it comes to being quite aesthetic, he knows how to do it. So great job, Brian. Uh, love it. And yes, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got inspired. Of course, all the links to all the websites are going to be in the description. Make sure to check them out. Play around with all these websites. These creators, you know, they did it for not just them to have fun making it, but also for others to enjoy. So I encourage you guys to go ahead and enjoy it. And if you have any awesome comments you want to leave to the creators, leave them down below in the video. And make sure you guys subscribe. We are so close to 100,000. So I'm uh, I'm really excited. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, and make sure you don't miss it because something really special is coming. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.